Ethan Carter I didn't know, but he knew who I was. When the police won't help you and the priests don't believe you, you call on Paul Prospero. You call on me. If you're a kid like Ethan, you're right. Plenty do. Ethan's letter started out just like any other fan mail, but soon there were mentions of things no little boy should know about. There are places that exist that very few people can see. Ethan could have drawn a map. I hadn't entered Red Creek Valley yet, but already I could feel its darkness reaching out for me. Finding Ethan Carter wasn't going to be as easy as knocking on his door. I was too late for that. To find Ethan, I had to figure out what this place was trying to hide from me. Alright, evening lads. This is The Vanishing of Ethan Carter. And I do not know anything about this game. I said it wasn't going to hold my hand, so I guess it's going to be quite difficult. That was a bit of a surprise. Sense, huh? So all I know is this game will not hold my hand, and it was recommended by Frictional Games. Those look like the traps they use in Vietnam. I'm not exactly sure what the sense does just yet. Maybe I'm not using it correctly. Wow, it's really beautiful. I think this is one of the prettiest games I've played, visually. Hopefully the story will be good too. I'm wondering if the game does not hold your hand means it's a non-linear game. Red Creek Valley seemed like a quiet, ordinary place. I've learned two things in my life. No place is truly quiet, and nowhere is really ordinary. Ethan warned me about that. Warned me not to be fooled by what I saw here. He didn't need to worry. I'd worked dozens of cases, hundreds. This would be my last one. Just one day before retiring.
Seems pretty linear so far, just following this track, although I guess it's just the beginning. What do you have here? Can I take this route? This is a torso. Alright, let's follow the trail of blood. Okay, interesting. Did he get cut in half by the train and then crawl this way? Or did someone drag? Can I go and drown in the water? Nope. Guess again, it's holding my hand a little bit. So pretty. Hope this game isn't just a walking simulator. Although it's a pretty good one if it is. I often get suspicious when I have games with this sort of graphics because I usually imagine they're not very long. Which is the case for most games these days.
what's that say up there? Extraditional container capsule. 8691. I wonder if that's going to be an important letter. Ooh. Very TARDIS. Dun da dun dun da dun. dun, dun. The beast had fangs, but was heavy and slow, so when I saw the light in the sky, it waited, thinking the light would, redacted, go out like the others redacted, before it, when it did not, the beast stood, rose up on its legs and went to the place where the fire was still burning. More redactions? As the orange light dies, another took its place. This one was blue and bright and pure blue that the creature had only seen along the edges of the stars. The beast showed its fangs, and the light vanished. A moment later, the light appeared again, between two distant trees. The beast wanted to go home, but it could not ignore the light, so it chased it deeper into the forest. Interesting, and it looks like you can rotate... Ooh, there's something in the back. When the light stopped, it did so... clearing... What? It did so something... clearing of the trees... The beast entered the circle, feeling no fear. The trees turned toward the beast, pointing at it like a needle. But the tops of the trees lowered and dug into the ground. The trunks and roots were raised into the air and closed around the beast like walls. As the ground disappeared, the beast realized it would never use its fangs again. Okay. Oh, you can zoom it. Wait. Get out of my room, Travis! Stories, stories, always with the stories. Get out! I read the Fangs one. I liked uh, the Beast. At least he gets to leave this goddamn place. Huh. Can I take it? I guess not. That was interesting. Have truce tales. Gaylord. Ho ho ho. 